Hi, I'm Claire and welcome to British Rowing's Go Row Indoor Workout Class number two. For this workout, you will need a set of light dumbbells, somewhere between two and six kilograms for some of the exercises we have later on. Okay, so just need to make sure your foot plate's in the right place so that when you put your foot in, the straps across the balls of the feet. You want the damper lever to be down on four or below and the monitor up nice and high so it encourages you to sit up nice and tall. Uh, once you're ready, you can put your feet in and just secure them in with the straps. Take hold of the handles and start with a nice gentle warm-up for four minutes. Let's go. Good stuff. So sitting up nice and tall. Thinking about sequencing. We want the stroke rate to be somewhere in the region of 20, which means a little gentle squeeze with the legs, nice and steady up on the recovery. Always important to think about technique, basics, on the drive, you've got legs starting, then the body lean, and then pulling through with the arms. Recovery is the exact opposite. Arms go away first, body leans over, and then move the legs back up to the front. is a nice comfortable stroke rate but we need to get a bit less comfortable so let's take it up to 22 little squeeze on the legs still control the recovery good That's it, sitting tall. Good, now we're gonna take it up to 24. We just need to move a little bit quicker through the whole stroke. Feeling the power in the legs, warming up. Still sitting tall in the back, making sure the body's leaning from the hips. Excellent. Relax it back, down to 18. Slow it down. Take the squeeze off the legs. One minute left, just moving through the motions. Hopefully starting to feel a bit warmer. A little bit looser. Ready for the first section. Control on the recovery. One more stroke and relax. Excellent. Just put the handles down for a second. Going into the first interval. Uh, it is three sets. 20 seconds light, 20 seconds medium, 20 seconds hard. Keep the light and medium slow rate, 
hard, any rate you like. Work for it three times. Reset your screen to just row. And when we're ready, let's come up to the front. Nice and light for 20 seconds, let's go. Long strokes, feeling the legs, little squeeze. This is the easy bit. Shame it doesn't last any longer. Moving it up to medium pressure. Drive and relax. Ratio is on the legs. In five seconds, we're going all out. Ready? Go. Drive the legs. Sit up tall. Push the split down, feeling the power. Two, one, easy pressure. Relax. Whew, deep breathing. Sitting tall, opening the lungs. Unfortunately, need to bring that squeeze back on now. Medium pressure. Dry the legs, slow recovery. Enjoy it. In two, one, big push. 20 seconds all out. Nice. And relax. One left. Doing good. Enjoy this bit. This is the easy bit. Still good technique. Feeling the flow. Taking it to medium pressure. Now, hear that noise, hear the fan pick up, drive, relax, in five, last sprint, ready, go, 20, Good stuff. Weigh it up on the legs. Three, two, one, and relax completely. Well done. Okay, intervals done. Uh, we're moving on to the circuit section. So this is where everything just lightens up a little bit, gets a bit easier. 30 seconds of rowing, 45 seconds of a variety of exercises, including light dumbbells. Start with the rowing, so coming up to the front, up to the start, sitting tall, let's go. 30 seconds, nice and easy, moving through. If you want to add a squeeze, you can, but there's no expectation. Good. Nice long strokes, feeling really fluid. And relax it there. Place the handle down. Take your feet out and grab your dumbbells. We're going to do a shoulder press. It is seated, so feet planted, knees at 90, weight up by the shoulder. And you're driving up and into the middle and back out again. Okay, we've got 45 seconds starting now. Nice and steady. No stress, no rush. I'm just putting belly button into spine so you're strong in the core. This is the exercise where you start thinking, easy. 
And after about 15 seconds, you think, have I got six kilos in each hand? Good stuff. Just really controlling the movement. That's 30 done, 15 to go. Last few reps, five seconds. And relax there, well done. We'll put the weights down. Put our feet back in. Secure them in. 30 seconds steady rowing, off we go. This is when you need to realize that this exercise is not a pull, it is a push. The arms just follow through. So the burn in the shoulders shouldn't get any worse. One more stroke. And relax. Handles down again. Feet out, but not off. We're doing a twist. You need to keep your feet there. Soft knees and just with core pulled in, lean back until you feel it lock in. At which point we take the hands and you're just gonna take them side to side. So 45 seconds can start now. Just feeling the top half twist whilst the bottom half stays still. Working the obliques. If it's too much, you just sit a little bit further forward. If you want a bit more of a challenge, lean a bit further back. Just keeping control of the seat. So far, so good. Good. We've done 30. 15 left. And relax there. Excellent. Tie uh, your feet back in. Handles up, 30 seconds of rowing. Off we go. So now we're making a rowing, uh, rowing even more of a whole body exercise. Getting the arms involved, getting the core involved. And on the next one, we'll get the legs involved. One more, and relax. Okay, step yourselves out and stand yourselves up. Move the seat in front. We're doing squats. So you can either stand over or beside your machine. Feet shoulder width, knees stay over toes, and you sink back and down. 45 seconds starting now. Nice and steady. Make sure the weight's in the heel. And this one you can relate back to rowing. Because it's all about the leg drive. Good stuff. If you want a challenge, just squeeze a little bit lower. Really make sure your glutes, your bum muscles, are squeezing on the way back up. Good. Lovely creaky knees. Everyone has them, it's fine. You just can't hear them all. Five more seconds. And relax, excellent. Sit yourselves back down. Put your feet back in. 30 seconds of rowing again. Off we go. Good, so now we can really feel the squat movement and how it relates back in. Loading the weight in the feet and driving away. Keeping the core and the body strong throughout. And relax. Excellent. Lateral raises. We're gonna need our dumbbells again. 
We're gonna stay seated. So 90 degrees in the knees, weight start beside you, and they come up to shoulder height. Slight bend in the elbows, we can start. So it's just a soft elbow, the weights will be slightly in front of your chest. Off we go. And again, the same as with the shoulder press, sitting up tall, belly button into your spine. Make sure you relax completely at the bottom and don't let your shoulders head up towards your ears. If the weight gets too heavy, you can just do it without, or you can just do one arm and then the other. Last few reps. Go for one more. Excellent, relax the weights down. Feet back in, four exercises down, two to go. Feeling good. 30 seconds, let's go. Now we've only got two exercises left. You can start to squeeze a little bit with this. Again, it's like the medium pressure we did before. Slow recovery, squeeze on the legs. Feeling strong and rowing long. And relax, excellent. Plank position. So you're gonna to need to get off your machine and come down next to it. It is elbows and toes or knees if you need to. So you're just gonna come down so your body is completely flat, almost as if you are the slide of the rowing machine. And we're just gonna hold for 45 seconds starting now. Think about pulling your belly back and into your spine. If you can slightly tip the hips up, flatten the back out and that activates your core. If you need the option, you can drop to your knees, keeping hold with the core still. And then we just need to pass the time whilst we stay strong. 15 seconds left. It's natural if you start to shake, it just means your body's working. Last five. And relax, well done. Back on the machine. One last 30 seconds, one last exercise, and we're done. So let's start, off we go. Let's go medium pressure, steady rating. Good, I can hear the leg drive, I like it. One more stroke, handles down. For your final exercise, you just need one dumbbell. And you're going to take it in both hands behind your head. So sitting up tall, feet shoulder width, uh, knees at 90. Try and keep your elbows facing forwards and you just extend and drop down. 45 seconds of tricep extensions starting now. If you desperately need more weight, you can put both hands, uh, both dumbbells in your hands, but it gets a bit difficult to hold them. With this one, make sure you don't feel like you're arching your back too much. Really pull the belly button in so you've controlled. You should feel the burn down the back of the arms. Ten seconds. One rep for luck. And relax. Well done. Okay. That's your circuit. All we have left is the cool down, but we do need to do a little bit of rowing to finish it off. 
So put your feet back in, and this is just to get the whole body moving, ready for the stretch. Off we go. Nice light pressure, one minute of rowing, and then we'll stretch it out, and we're done. So making sure every muscle you've used is still working, if gently, good technique, still feeling strong. Nice. Good control of the recovery. Just getting your breath back. One more. And relax it there. Well done. No more rowing. I'm going to stand up and just take you through three quick stretches. Starting with the quads. So you can either hold onto your machine if you want to or just freehand balance. One foot up behind. Try and keep the hips level and the knees in line, feel the stretch down the front. Excellent, and swap that over. Just getting your balance. Good fun, always good fun. Excellent, next stretch, one foot out in front, lean back into your hamstring. So the front leg stays straight, you should feel it down the back. Just push your hips away. Excellent, and swap that over. that one final stretch bit of balance involved one ankle on the opposite knee and just sink down into the glute stretch you should feel it in the bent leg in the hip of that leg if you need to you can just push the knee away a bit further and you should open up the hip a bit more excellent last one other side this is my zen pose Well done, good work.